Good evening, everybody, and welcome to AFR Wildcard Tuesday for July 30th, 2019. I'm your host, Steve Tower. Uh, this is our special summer show uh, where we're kind of mashing together our Tuesday Newsday and our Wildcard Wednesday into one one big show. Uh, and tonight we are going to be featuring news and a playthrough for the launch title of Play Now Fury Football. This game was a a big hit uh, at the recentplay.com. It uh, was available as a PDF. It still is available as a PDF download from the PlayNow site, uh, but some of the people that attended the con were lucky to have the opportunity to purchase a printed copy of the game, and some of us were lucky to win a tournament and <laughs> win a copy of the game, uh, as well as all of the expansion teams. And uh, so that's what I'm going to be showcasing tonight. And there is some news to share about the game uh, over on the Play Now community page on Facebook. Uh, Sam Avalone, uh, one of the designers at Play Now, put out a quick video update. And there was some very exciting news. Uh, let's see. First off, physical copies of Fury Football are going to be available on October 11th. Uh, so 10-11 is when you can order your own physical copy of the game uh, from the Play Now website, uh, and as well as the expansions. Now, currently, the expansions uh, and the game itself are available as a PDF download. Uh, when it, they come out as a physical copy, uh, the expansions will be in groups of eight, and there'll be two expansions available uh, to purchase them that way. Uh, the other game uh, from Play Now is Twisted Fate, uh, their second release. Uh, this was another surprise at the convention and that they actually had some copies there available, some advanced copies. Uh, I have been playing that game so much. Uh, it's <laughs> it's actually today is the first time since the convention that I have not gotten a game in because I was getting ready for Fury Football tonight. Um, that is going to be available as a PDF download on August 16th. Uh, and then that will be coming out as a physical copy as well on October 11th. Uh, so you can set your, your calendar to that. Uh, and if you're interested in checking out Twisted Fate, um, be sure to tune in to the Play YouTube channel where Sam Avalon is going to be doing a playthrough of Twisted Fate on his channel. And then stay tuned here because next week I'm going to be featuring Twisted Fate on my channel as well. It's going to be my first non sports game uh, that I'm going to do a playthrough. Uh, that'll be on next Wildcard Tuesday. So uh, that is, I'm really, really looking forward to that. So uh, let's see. I think that I covered everything there was about that. So, yeah, so uh, if you want more information about the game, uh, you can check the links out down below uh, to the Play Now website. Uh, you can, let's see, uh, the Play Now community, I don't think I linked that, but I will put a link to it uh, after the show. Uh, you can see some write-ups of the games. Uh, there is a score sheet available that you can download um, on that page and uh, join the community for uh, this Fury Football game. It was This was a really big hit at the convention. Uh, I think in a span of two hours, we got to play like a mini season. Everybody was grouped up in a table of four. And everyone played each other uh, once, and then we did three rounds of playoffs and and got all that done in a span of two hours. So uh, really, really a lot of fun. I actually hadn't played the game in a couple of months, so it took me uh, just a couple of minutes to get up to speed. Uh, and then I was able to, uh, to win the tournament. And so the team that I won the tournament with, the Nashville Twang, is actually who I will be... Uh, coaching tonight and I'll be going up against none other than the Boston Malcontents and we'll be using uh, one of the coaches from the free expansion that you can download the coaches expansion uh, and what this does instead of having a generic uh, chart for the auto offense and auto defense it adds a little bit of flair and characteristics uh, to the the AI coach uh, so chill Chill uh, Chelebeck will be coaching the Boston Malcontents tonight, and let's see if I can keep my win streak going with the Nashville Twang. All right, so here we are. So here is everything with Fury Football. Uh, there are four different boards uh, that you get. Um, each team will have an offensive board, and each team will have a defensive board. Uh, you lay them out. The offense will be numbered 1 through 6, and then the offense, you'll put your players in 7 through 12. 
Uh, so the Boston team, their defense is up here, their offense down here, and then vice versa for my Nashville team. And each player, uh, we'll look at my, my star back here, Robinson Banjo. Uh, so each player has two results. The result on the top is if, you, if they're called on for a pass play, and then the result on the bottom is the result for a run play. And so generally you'll try to have your players with negative results, uh, like uh, Riles Haggard here, you'll have them on your defense uh, so that they'll have negative results when if they are called upon. Uh, a The game is played over um, eight possessions, so each team is going to have the ball once. Uh, you start at midfield, there's no kickoff, no kickoff returns. There are optional rules for field goals and punts, but we will not be using them because in my world, in Fury Football, there is no kicking. Uh, and so what's going to happen, each team will have a chance to possess the ball uh, four times. And if they manage to break the plane there, they will score a touchdown. It's worth six points. And then they can go for a conversion for any amount of points that they want. So the further away that they are, it's worth one point for each line away. If they convert it, they get to continue to, uh, to try to convert until they are stopped. And wherever they are stopped... Then the other team will take possession over there so you can try to go for a 10 point conversion all the way from midfield and if you get it you're in an extra 10 points but if you're stuffed the other team will take over at midfield so it adds some interesting twists uh, as you get towards the end of the game uh, the uh, the various results well uh, once we get to them i'll, I'll show you some but basically it's either going to be a gain um, a short gain is 1d6, a medium gain will be 2d6, a long is 3d6, uh, and then the same for losses. If it's a, it says a short loss, it's 1d6, you'll move back, medium loss, 2d6. Interception and fumbles, uh, the ball will just uh, be turned over, and then the other team will take over wherever you uh, the line of scrimmage was. Uh, let's see. And then there are some players, uh, let's look at uh, Roy Ryman here, uh, see his run result, it says touchdown, but then it has a circle and injured. So some players will have two results, and what that means is that normally it's going to get the result without the symbol, but you roll a die, and for example with a circle, if you get a 2, 3, or 4, um, that um, result will happen as well. So actually with him, he will be injured, so you'll get the touchdown, but then he'll be injured, and you'll have to remove him from the game. Uh, let's see, here's a... Uh, a star back on the defense for Boston and you see uh, if he's called on for a pass the offense will actually get a short gain however if you get a five or a six uh, it will instead be a incomplete pass all right uh, let's see and then one last thing uh, me as the human player I'll have five strategy cards uh, that I can use during the game and they are a one-time use only once you use them they are gone uh, some of them will have, let's see, like this one here, the Chorus of Booze. Um, I can try to reverse any result, or not reverse, but uh, negate any result and instead have a penalty called. Um, but I need to get a 2, 3, or 4 with that circle result, uh, and then I'll get to penalty points. Uh, that's the last thing I want to mention. Uh, penalty points, or, or uh, penalties, instead of it affecting field position, they are simply points. So whenever a penalty is called, you'll just roll a die, and uh, the team that committed the penalty, they'll give their opponents that many points. So I actually had a game during the convention uh, where the only points scored were on a penalty, actually from that chorus of booze card, and I won the game four to nothing. So, um, so there we go. All right, we will start things off. Um, I will let Boston be the home team, and uh, they will have the ball last, so we'll go first. And so what's going to happen, we're going to roll, we'll, um, uh, we'll start over here. I've got my little handy-dandy referee mini. So just to let you guys know, when the referee is here, we're looking at these cards. And then when uh, Boston has offense, we'll move, move them over here. So what's going to happen, uh, I will decide if I'm going to do a pass or a run. Uh, and then we'll roll the die up here, and here is the defensive card for for Chill Chelebeck. Uh, and then we'll use this decider die uh, just to remember which defense we are on. All right, so here we go. Uh, we will get underway. Oh, and then I've got my uh, that's my phone up there that I'm just using a score 
uh, scorecard um, app to keep the score. Uh, let's see, question from Bob. Oh, welcome, Bob. Uh, the official rules now for strategy cards uh, in solo play. So, yes, actually, I reached out to Sam about this because I was curious, and he said that uh, you playing against a... Um, an AI control team, you get to use the strategy cards um, as long as you're giving the AI a, a coach um, and that the coach's calls will sort of offset uh, you using the strategy cards. So um, that might change <laughs> when uh, the physical ones go out, but that was the that was the official ruling that I got from Sam today. So all right, so here we go. We are underway. Uh, I'm gonna start with a pass. For my team, we will start here at midfield on our first possession. We'll roll the die. We get a four. And Chalabek has called a pass defense. All right, so we'll move the marker up there. Now we'll roll a 20-sided die. And whatever number it comes up on, that's the player that you're going to refer to. So the defensive players are one through six. The offensive players are uh, seven through 12. So at nine... We got our center here, Netherly Strum, and we're going to have a short gain on a pass. So I'll roll the die, and we're going to move forward four spaces. One, two, three, four. And now it is second down. So you have four downs to uh, to get into the end zone, and if you don't make it into the end zone on your fourth down, then it's a turnover on downs, and the other team will take over wherever you were stopped. All right, so here we go. We'll have our second down here. We're going to stick with the pass and oh and I fooled Chelebeck he calls a run defense uh, oh but it's gonna come up on his defensive player oh no let's see so it is Montoya here it's going to be a fumble unless we get a five or a six and then that will turn it into a short loss and it's not so a fumble will turn the ball over right there and let me see, do I have something that can negate that? I could play my chorus of booze right now, and that would negate the fumble, and I would get to replay second down. Hmm. And then let, but I think I'm going to, I'll save that for later. All right, so that is the end of my first possession. New, or, uh, Boston will take over right there. And... They will have first down. All right, so there we go. Uh, let's see. So move the die over here. So now I will call my defense uh, before they roll for what their offense is. All right, so I think I'm going to go with the react defense. So the react defense, basically what it does is half of the results, uh, if you get a, a 13 through 16, will refer to your player or your defense uh, which I have a really good defense with this twang and the other thing that it does is if the offense calls an audible uh, you immediately stop the down and there's no gain on it all right so let's see what Chelebeck is going to call and let's see oh so here's one of the special abilities with the the coach's cards on a three for Chelebeck it's just immediately a medium gain so there we go. Oh, and I got lucky. Just going to be three. So one, two, three, and now second down. All right. Uh, let's see. I'll go. I'll switch to the pass defense. And oh, and he fooled me. He is going to go with a run. Let's see. So 15. So over here, uh, let's see. Oh, a run is going to be another medium gain. It'll be a gain of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boston knocking on the door. Third down, three to go. I'm going to go back to the react defense. And, oh, no, he's going to get another automatic medium gain. He might punch it in. and Oh, yes, he is. All right, so there we go. So Boston on the board. So six points. And now they will go for their conversions, and they are gonna. Oh, they're gonna try for a six-point play. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. I will. I will call a fury defense. So the fury defense 
is kind of an all out and think of it as a blitz. Uh, it has a lot of good results for the defense, but then also some good results for the offense. So I'm going to try to blow them up with a blitz here. Let's see. And they are going to call a pass. So pass against the Fury. And we get a one. Oh, and that's going to be my guy. And it's going to be intercepted by Riles Haggard. He will intercept that pass. So no conversion. And they just get the six points. All right. So second possession. And we will take over where their conversion failed. Six to nothing. Nashville in a hole here. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, let's change the ref over here. All right. Let's see if we can get that pass offense going. And we fool Chelebeck. He calls a run defense. And we get a 20. All right, so on a 20, something special is going to happen. So first, we're going to use the result from our number 12, our star back here. And it's going to be a medium gain for Banjo. And it's a gain of 12. All right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. However, when you get a 20 on the 20-sided uh, the die, you have to roll it again. And there could be an injury. There could be a penalty on the offense. could be a penalty on the defense. Let's see what happens. And we get an 8. And so when uh, 1 through 12 is rolled, it means that a player is injured and he has to be replaced. But we're going to use our first strategy card here. Uh, we're going to use the keep on playing, and we get to ignore an injury result. So that is our... Our first strategy card played, so we will let, uh, let's see, chart topper is going to stay in, <laughs> and we've got second down, and we got just two to go to punch it into the end zone. All right, let's see, we are, we're going to continue to pass. Let's see, oh, and so one of the, uh, the other special results on the defense is a gutcha result and what's that what that means is if you called a pass they will call a pass defense if you called a run they will call a a run so pass against pass and we get a 16 so that is going to be an incomplete it is now third down third down two to go hmm let's see I think we're going to stay with the pass because unfortunately I have a couple fumble results on my run so I'd hate to fumble it away here so close to the end zone so pass and it'll be again it's a pass defense and a one oh boy so it's either a short gain unless we get a five or a six and then it's going to be intercepted so we'll roll for that first and okay so it's going to be a short gain let's see what the gain is and it's a gain of four, so it's a touchdown. Nashville ties it up. And I'm just going to turn the sound off on that. There we go. Okay. So it is all knotted up at six. And now we can take the lead. Uh, I'm going to go for a three-point conversion. And... We will, we're going to stick with the pass. The defense goes with a react. And we get a nine. That's going to be a short gain. Ooh. And we gain five. All right, so there we go. We got the three-point conversion. So now we are up nine to six. Let's see. Let's go... Let's go for three again, and we will pass again. And they are going to stick with that React defense. And we got a 20, so that's going to be a medium gain. And we will convert the three-point conversion, but let's see what the additional result is. Oh, a 13 is a penalty on the offense. Oh, darn. That stinks. All right, so... Instead of us getting that conversion, the defense instead is going to get, oh, five points on the penalty. Oh, boo. Wow. 
one, two, three, four, five, and that will end um, our conversion. We'll lose the down. So, so Boston will now take over defensive points on the penalties. Oh darn! All right, so their second possession. They're going to start. Uh, let's see on my three or on their own three, I guess. Oh, let's go for a Fury. Let's see if we can get a defensive score here of our own. All right, so five, they are going to run. So run against the Fury defense. And we get a five. Oh, nice. Oh, wait, 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 sorry. A five over here. It's a medium loss. Oh, we might back them up. So two dice. Oh, yes, there we go. And so in Fury Football, there are no safeties. That is a defensive touchdown. So six points for us. So we go up 15 to 11, and now we get to do our conversions after the score. And then we will also um, have the ball for our third possession, and we'll start at midfield after this. But first, we get to do our, uh, our conversions. Let's see. So we're up by four. Four, so let's go for a two-point conversion right now. Um, let's see. Well, let's see if we can fold. We're gonna call a run, and they call it gutcha, so they are in a run defense. And let's see, a four. Oh, on the run is gonna be no gain. All right, so that'll stop. That right there, and now we will take over with our third possession. So we have the lead, have the ball, and we are at midfield. Let's reset the down marker. All right, here we go. So a chance to extend our lead. Um, we will pass, and they are going to be in a react defense. All right, so let's see if we get a 15. 15 on a pass is going to refer to number two, and that's going to be an incomplete pass. All right, so incomplete, second down. Uh, we're going to stick with the pass, and they call a gutcha, so they are in a pass defense. 15 on a pass defense, incomplete. Uh-oh, third down. Well, now we have to pass, so let's see. And they will, they're going to go back to the react defense. And we get a 12, so that's going to be a medium gain. Robinson Banjo gets 10, and that's going to be a touchdown. There we go. All right, so we will go up by 10, 21, to 11. All right, and now we get to do our conversions. Let's see. My 10, so let's go for a two-pointer. And we will pass. They call a gutcha, so they will pass as well. 15 on the pass. That's going to be an incomplete. All right, so the conversion fails. But uh, we will still be up 21 to 11, and they will take over with their third possession all the way back on their own two. So Boston has their work cut out for them. We are going to call a react defense. And, oh, they're going to get that medium gain. Uh-oh. Oh, no, and a 10. Yikes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, now second down. Uh, let's stick with the react. They call a run. Uh, 20 on a run. So it's going to be Tom Brody. A short gain. Uh, unless we get a one, then it'll be a medium gain. So no, just a short gain. Short gain of five. One, two, three, four, five. And now let's see what the special play is. And it is going to be an injury. So one of their linemen, Revere Rasmus, is going to be injured. He will come out, and they have to put in one of their backups, and they do not have anybody really good for an offensive backup. 
let's see, I guess they'll put a button in here. So definitely now a liability for them on the line. And it'll be third down now. Third down, they've got three to go to get a score. Uh, let's go with the Fury defense. And they call a pass. Pass against the Fury. Five. Oh, that's going to be a sack. So a sack is going to send him backwards. Oh, but just one. Darn. Oh, darn. All right, let's see. Um, don't really have any good cards to play right now. All right, but it is. So here we go. Fourth down. And they need uh, four to cross the the line we'll go to the react defense and they are going to run run against the react and four that'll be on us four is going to be a fumble they are denied so we will take over this is our last possession we've got a 10 point lead can we add to the cushion all right, so here we go. Um, might as well stay with what has brought us. We're going to stick with the pass. And they call a pass defense. Pass against pass. Nine. That's going to be a short gain. Oh, and just a gain of one. Darn. All right, second down coming up. We'll stick with the pass. They call a gotcha, so they will st still be in the pass defense. Three. Oh boy, how about this? It's going to be intercepted unless I roll a 1, and then that will turn it into a touchdown. So Egregious Jones is, is either going to make the interception or he's going to get burned. And no, it's going to be an interception, but hold on. I'm going to play this chorus of boos. So after any play results, uh, we're going to roll a d6, and if we get a 2, 3, or 4, it instead it's going to be a penalty on the defense. And, oh, well, all right, it went off screen. I will roll it again. <laughs> and, no, it's going to stand. All right, so we burn that card. So there we go. They are going to take over their last possession. An interception sets them up here. Uh, they are down by 10, so they're going to need to score, and then they are going to need uh, to make a few conversions to take the lead. All right, so here we go. Game comes down to this. The Twang holding on to a 10-point lead. Oh, move the referee over here. And let's see. We are going to go to the React defense. And they are going to call a pass play. 11. It's going to be incomplete unless it might also be a sack. 2, 3, or 4, it's a sack. And there's a 4, so it is going to be a sack. He is going to be moved back 5 spaces. Ooh, a big sack. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now back at midfield. Second down. Hmm... We're going to stick with the React defense. And, oh, and there we go. They try to audible. And so an audible against a React, it means that we shut the play down. No gain. So now it's third down. Hmm. All right. We're going to stick with that React defense. And they are going to run. Run versus the react. What's going to happen? Oh, it's a 20. Let's see. So a uh, short gain, but possibly a medium gain. So let's see that first. If it's a 1. No. So it's going to be a short gain. So a gain of 3. Let's see what the 20-sided roll is. Uh, oh, no. I'm going to have another injury. Or an injury that I can't avoid. Oh, no. It's one of my better guys, too. Wawa Mandrell is injured. All right, so let's see. I'll bring in Cajun Ferguson to take his place. All right, so the gain of three stands. One, two, three. And here we go. This is it. Fourth down. They've got uh, 
they need to pick up seven to get the score and then make some conversion. So the game could come down to this. I think that we're going to... We're going to stay with the React defense. That's been treating us pretty well. So here we go. And, oh, no, he gets the automatic medium gain, but what is he going to roll? And he's going to get a 7. How about that? <laughs> so he, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So they just break the plane. And so there's 6 points. So it is 21 to 17. So they need, uh, let's see, four to tie. One, two, three, four. Oh, boy. How about that? All right. Four to tie. And then if they get that, then they'll just need one for the win. Um, all right. Let's see. We, well, we're going to go for a Fury defense. See if we can blow this up. And they are going to call a run. All right, here we go. Can we stuff them? We got a seven. Oh, and that's going to that's gonna be it. <laughs> Unfortunately for them, it goes to Rowdy Moss. And it's either going to be a short loss or a fumble. Uh, but either way, well, let's see. If, uh, if it's a five or six, it's a fumble. No, so it'll just be a short loss. I'll back them up six. And so that is going to be the end of the game. They get stuffed on the conversion. Uh, I guess Rowdy Moss blew his blocking <laughs> route. And so there we go. The Nashville Twang still remain undefeated on my tabletop. But what an exciting game. Came down right to the last play. Um, and there you go. Uh, that is Fury Football. As you can see, a really quick playing game. Really, really easy to set up. Um, and just, just a whole lot of fun. Uh, so there is a, a whole bunch of these, uh, coaching cards, uh, you can get for free. You go to the play now website and they are a free download. They get sent to your email and print them out. Uh, so some of them have really good results on them. Like the chill Chelebeck, um, card has just that automatic medium gain. And, um, but there are some, <laughs> cards that um i think there's one called clueless jackson or clueless uh and he actually has a fumble result on his offense uh so you know you can definitely add some personality uh to your league and you know if you're not uh if you're not talking as much as i am a game can go by actually pretty quick and uh yeah yeah just a lot of fun and i do have to say it is definitely a lot of fun playing head to head because you uh, you kind of get you know the game within the game, right? You get into your opponent's head, and he's like, oh, there's no way he's going to call a pass <laughs> three times in a row. And uh, so, yeah, you definitely kind of get that, that interplay going on when you do head-to-head. -head. This was a lot of fun at the convention. Uh, I'm really hoping that all of the, the play meetups, that this is somehow uh, incorporated into them because it, it, it is it's so easy to set up and play and uh, get a game done. Uh, like I said, there are score sheets you can download uh, if you want to keep track of the different possessions. Really easy to set up a league. I think there's 18 different teams now. Is that right? For, or, uh, let's see, there's 20 different teams. Or rather, there's five, five expansions. Oh, or 24 teams, I should say. Five expansions with four each. Uh, and then the base game comes with four, four teams as well. So, um, so there we go, guys. That is... Fury Football. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I may come back tomorrow. I actually just found out that uh, the usual event that I have in the summer on Wednesday nights is has been canceled. So it's possible I may be back back here tomorrow night with a special summer edition of Wildcard Wednesday, uh, bringing another game of Fury Football. Uh, if you'd like to see another game, let me know in the comments. Uh, leave a like. Uh, if you're not subscribed, uh, please hit the subscribe button. And uh, there you go. Next week, Wildcard Tuesday, I will be featuring Twisted Fate, my first non-sports uh, game that I'll be doing a full playthrough of. So, uh, so hopefully I can see you then. All right. Until then, though, my name's Steve. Get out there, have fun, play games, and I will see you after further review. Have a good night, everybody.